Bear Grylls and today I'm going to be taking on the inhospitable terrain of Tussie Mountain. Temperatures today are going to reach a sweltering 100 degrees and it's going to take all my survival knowledge for me to get out of here alive. I'm about ready to get dropped off here and at this point there's no turning back. It's only been about three minutes, but I've already think I've got heat stroke. Whew, the going is just really tough. In addition to it being really, really hot, the three main predators you have to watch out for are you're out here in western Pennsylvania, coyotes, rattlesnakes, and Ben Roethlisberger. I've got to find some sort of food so I can get some energy. Christmas trees grow wild out here. They grow pre-trimmed and already in nice even rows. And one of the things about Christmas trees is they're 100% edible. You can definitely eat the needles. Christmas trees are truly one of the keys to survival. I found a nice source of water here. I'm going to see if I can try and find some fish. Now the key to this expedition is you've got to enter the water very discreetly. You don't want to spook the fish. So. I've got to be really careful and really quiet and uh, make a nice clean entry so I can get my fish. <coughs> this, uh, this pond will provide me a nice meal and it's very cool and refreshing but I don't want to stay in here too long because you never know when an alligator or a shark will come up behind me and snatch me away. So I'm gonna get in here, do my business, and get out as quick as I can. Woo! I got a big one, and this will be a great meal for later. That's huge! And you see right here, we got a largemouth bass native to the Tussie Mountain region. It's at least 17 inches long there, so it's a good catch and uh, it'll make a good meal. I've been following this creek now for about two hours and uh, just really, really disappointed. Uh, as you can see, it's completely dried up. I was hoping to find some fresh water in here, but uh, I've just got to keep moving and I'm going to have to go through this tunnel. And uh, it's just a really tight fit in here, but I can keep inching my way along. I think I should be able to make it out all right. That is not something that I want to do for a very long time. Lots of bats in there as well as other creepy crawlies. If I'd known that there was an abandoned four-wheeler behind me, got to keep it would have saved me a lot of time. There's an old abandoned shack up ahead, so... I think the only thing you can do now is just start uh, running haphazardly through the woods for no apparent reason. Unnecessary action! At this point I'd like to remind my viewers that I received no outside help from my camera crew and I have no contact with the outside world. I found this old shack. It should provide me with some shelter. This the shelter should keep me dry. Holy cow! It appears that I've come across some sort of a drunk redneck uh, failing miserably at the Sudoku. Might as well see if I can try and wake him up. What in tarnation? What are you doing there, boy? My name is Bear Grylls. I'm currently filming a TV show, and I'm trying my best to get out of this Tussie Mountain wilderness. I'm Alan. Alan Teeter. Nice to meet you. My, my wife calls me lover boy. I couldn't believe that this drunken oaf was actually married. Let's go. Welcome to God's country, Bear. Thank you, Alan. And, uh, I trust that you can get me out of here all right, nice and safe. Well, you know, Bear, I think it'd be real nice to share a pill, man. You know, uh, 
Uh, I think so too. Why would you? Why would you say that? Because she moves fast. We've been at this for about 20 minutes. We are pretty tied up. There's uh, no turning back at this point. All right, Alan, I'm gonna try. You always sure do pick the best roots, Bear. There you go. I greatly appreciate you letting me come along on the ride. I've made it to the top, but now we're just waiting on Alan. Give me a hand. Come here, Bear. Uh, You've got it. Bear. One more step. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Cheetah, no! Alan, are you okay? Oh, my legs, bear, my legs. They just, they ain't no good no more. Alan, I don't think you're gonna make it. I ain't gonna make it, bear. I need to give you something. It's, it's my hot knife. The Jackhawk 9000, available at Walmart. I'll treasure this forever, Tita. Don't forget the case. Bear. I need you to do something for me. Anything for you, Alan? My last request. I need you to go to the Glen Beck Rally. August 28th, the Lincoln Memorial. I'll be there. God bless you, Bear. Thanks for everything, Alan. I've been eating anything since that fish. So, I'm going to try and go for what the locals around here call crawdads. Oh. You may know them as crayfish. I've got my dinner. It's not much, but pound for pound. These are an excellent source of protein and provide many essential vitamins and nutrients as well. So, doesn't look like much, but I'm gonna go for it. That was definitely one of the worst foods I've ever eaten, but that protein is essential and it'll keep me going on the last leg of my journey. For now, we've got to keep moving. Up at the top of this hill, if you can see it there, uh, I heard cars whizzing by, I think there's a road up there, and that's my best bet to get out of here. So, it looks really steep and uh, the branches are probably very slippy, but I'm gonna give it a go. I've lost my backpack, but I don't care. This is really steep, tough going. Woo! Ah, I've climbed Mount Everest, Mount McKinley, and Mount Kilimanjaro, and I can safely say that Tussie Mountain was my toughest climb yet. I see the road ahead. I'm gonna get out. Be my chance out. These people will help me. What's that? Idiot doing in the middle of the road. Get him out of there. Jerry, get him out of there. Boy, hit him. Good dumb idiot. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah. That was definitely. Unexpected. Woo! They say around here that if it ain't tough, it ain't Tussie. And Tussie Mountain has sure proved to be tough. Too tough for the bear. If it ain't tough, it ain't Tussie.